Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at creating a colour selector. I've recreated this tutorial and made it more simple for you. So when you click on a colour selector, you see this. Right, the only thing you need to prepare is the written content and the image, which needs to be 95 pixels by 95 pixels. Alright, so let's come into the back end of the website. Click on items. Select the right category and select color selector. Yeah. Alright, we have uh, one color selector here at the front, so let's create another one. So I'm going to go to create new. Now, the one thing you need to bear in mind is how many you're selecting because we have to give each color selector uh, page that we create a class and a number. But I'll go through that with you now. So I'm going to call this one. Example color selector 02. Type that, put that back in there. Now, here I need to click toggle editor there just to see my toolbar. I'm going to click the um, insert edit template icon. And I'm going to click the color selector layout and insert that, and it inserts my example here. So I just want to change the image, so I've made it easy for changing the images, so I'm just going to click on the image and then click the image icon. I'm going to upload a new colour to the colour selectors uh, folder there. Click upload, drag my image on there. This is a 95 by 95 pixel image. Upload it, click on it again update, click this, select the same image which I just selected before, where are we, example purple, here we go, update, change this uh, name here to colors, example color selector purple, so I can see what it is, it makes sense. Now the thing we need to do here, we need to look at the code and we need to change some of the code. So I think the best way to do that is to go into code mode, which is this button here, and then click it. You'll see here, um, it says my color one. Because this is gonna be number two, I need to change it to two. Now there are three instances that we need to change. So I'm gonna change this one here, to here, here, and and then when I, when I want to exit code mode, I just click the button again. I just come back up to the top end here and click save. Come to the front end and refresh my page. There you have it. If we want to rearrange the order of them, we come back to the back end. I'm going to click save and close. and you need to click this icon over here which looks like two arrows so click that and if I want to organize it I can just click this black thing here click and drag, drag that one down come back to the front end refresh the page and the order has changed okay so it's much easier now to create a color selector um, page for the color selector page